Good morning, Earth. It is time for some parkour remakes. I made these videos a long, long time ago, but they were with a little bit less camera quality. My voice was very quiet, and I also was much less experienced. So I want to remake these videos. Also because my shoulder is injured right now, so I can't be training full the way I want to. So I still want to do some stuff that helps you guys, and I figure there's no better time to do this than right now. So there's two videos I want to make right now. How to start parkour free running, but versus this video. What is parkour free running? Have a seat, grab some tea. Let's talk. Well, you've probably seen it a lot, uh, even if you haven't heard of it. You know, in action movies, when you see people jump from place to place or in chase scenes, getting over cars and across obstacles, climbing up things, rolling when they land from high. Uh, all of these things count as parkour free running. But let me give you the uh, experience definition of what these things are and you should know that these are actually different things when you're talking to people on the street you should use them interchangeably but when you're talking to practitioners and you are one you should know what the differences are so I'll also give you some examples parkour is essentially the mastery of environment it's about efficiency uh, it's about efficiency speed and safety of course whereas free running which, the reason this is probably such confused terms is because in, like, for example, Assassin's Creed, when you want to, like, uh, free climb, they call it free running. You just hold the trigger and you run and you go over and things. So when you do that in Assassin's Creed, it's actually parkour, but they call it free running. Although I understand why it's confusing because it's, like, run free. Anyway, free running is a much more artistic approach to things. It's about being creative and uh, throwing down unique, cool, and difficult tricks. Uh with parkour as a solid base. Yes, that's what I want to say. Free running encompasses everything from break dancing, gymnastics, uh, uh, regular dancing, anything you could think of probably. But parkour is the foundation. So there's a reason that you get these two confused is because without parkour, there's no free running. So what do I mean by this? So I just, I'm gonna walk you through a physical example. I'm not gonna actually move though. Parkour, for example, would be, if you're trying to get from here to there, uh, the fastest path from A to B. You run up the stairs, and you do a vault or a, a dive front flip over top, land and roll, and it's cleared. Now, flips are not typically parkour, at least no twisting flips or anything fancy, but there are times in a, a real situation when a flip is the most effective way to uh, get across an obstacle, you know? You could use one hand and just like jump over this, pass it, or you could just dive straight over it, front flip tuck, and roll at the bottom. That's probably the fastest, although it's got some risk, unless you're well practiced. Now free running is same line. Let's say you do a back flip to start, and uh, instead of going straight up the stairs, you put one hand on this one, and climb up with your foot, jump over to that one, now you're standing on this one. You jump to this one, crawl up on all fours. When you come up here, you do a side flip off of this, and then uh, you jump on top of that and do a gainer full off of it. Now that might be a bunch of hoopla terms if you don't know what I'm talking about, but all these terms have movement names, and uh, people have been down these paths before, and we've come up with terms for what these things mean, but I'm sure you can see what the difference is now. Efficiency versus art. That's really what it comes down to. Parkour is a little bit harder to practice unless you have good obstacles, I find. You know, for example, on flat ground, you can't really do parkour except the sprint. You know, A to B efficiency, like we're talking about. It's a philosophy difference, really. But free running, you can do with anything. Just a wall, just some flat ground, uh, one ledge. You can do free running with anything. So I just wanted to quickly inform you guys about these things as you get started on your journey. You should know what these things are and what they mean and how to get moving on them. So thank you for stopping in. I'm about to shoot my second video, how to start parkour and free running.